Hello, I'm Spade. One of the ways that I've learned a lot as I've set out to become better at competitive Counter-Strike is by watching the pro players, or at least players better than me, play positions on maps that I need to learn about. Ninjas in Pajamas is obviously, aside from being one of the best teams out there, known for their CT setups. I often end up playing outside on Nuke, and I get a little lost sometimes, so here's a quick example. I pulled a few rounds out. This is round two, the pistol round against a eco buy round. Get right runs all the way to the side of the garage and manages to pick that guy off of the mini garage roof and grab his gun because he could see the feet and I assume the other guy couldn't see get right. Now we get to watch get right clean up the rest of the team. As I watch demos like this, one of the things I'm trying to pay attention to while I'm learning is what kind of variation is there? What are the different spots that these pros pick to play from? Because there are reasons why they pick each one. I'm sure that Get Right was in that corner because he knew that that corner would give him a view of the roof and give him a surprise angle. This round is less interesting, but I kept it in here because, one, you see how he throws that smoke how he throws the grenade following that smoke, and how he plays this flashbang here. It's just a different area to play outside from, a more aggressive angle, and it doesn't end up working out for him in that round, but it's a, a good example of a different place to play this from. This round he's bought an auto sniper. Oh, get right. And he plays this spot here, which is sort of the sniper spot that I often sit in. I've learned that when you stand there, you're... You have to be careful because you're sometimes exposed to somebody who's boosted onto Twinkie. And in this final example, we'll see Get Right play another different position. He still has the auto sniper, but he comes out up top here. to get a view around the corner. Now in this case he doesn't see anyone outside, they've rushed inside and he needs to get down here quickly and move on towards trying to retake the site. Because it's get right, it works pretty well. Watching this gave me a couple of new ideas about how to play nuke outside. If you also found it useful, drop a like, let me know, and I'll continue making more in this series. Spade out.